Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in TNO, the last days of Europe, in which we're playing for this epilogue episode in Goring's campaign as Papa Ferdinand Shona, because he has his own focus tree. And I'll be honest, we're gonna die here, probably. We have negative zero stability, which is kind of insane to think about, but oh well. But we have Ein Reich. Once more, the Reich has fallen into chaos. Goring may have been our preferred stalking horse in the Reichstag, but his gluttony and incompetence have cost us dearly. His economic mismanagement has sunk the Reich to new low. His flamboyance and extravagance emptying its coffers and putting its slaves into open revolt. The German people have been infected with his laziness, his femininity, oh, and his cowardice. Fortunately, there is no character so low that righteous war cannot rectify it. And here is a military that we've been given. We've got uh, quite a few divisions here. Not bad. These, this is the infantry side of things, of course. Um, I'm going uh, to go defensive, actually. Well, we have no command power. So let's take a look. 48 of our divisions are 20 combat width. Not bad. Pretty tra tried standard stuff. I, I'm okay with that. We have some Burgerval divisions. Eight of these guys. 18 light infantry divisions. Not so great. And then we have two Gebergs divisions as well. Somewhere here. Um, it's you guys. Oh, there we go. Geberg. Uh, Gebergs Jäger. So Mountaineers, probably. Or elite. No, they're elite. So basically, oh, they have IVs with them. So that's what we have. And if you take a look at this, uh, this doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> uh, we, we literally spawn with 12 divisions of tanks, which basically don't have tanks or APCs or support equipment or artillery. And 13 combat width, which is okay, but we have, don't have equipment. And we have five divisions of IFVs, which are 16 combat width, which is not, which is not terrible. We just don't have the APCs, or the IFVs, or the support equipment, or artillery. And also, because it's bugged like we saw from the last episode, if you actually watched it, we don't have research. We All we have are early infantry rifles and anti-tank, so uh, we don't have any things researched. Actually, what are we even researching here? I, 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 I grabbed this, like, I reloaded the save when all this stuff spawned, and all the, the technology has been deleted, so... It's not good, man. Not good. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull some, uh, some stuff behind the curtains and make sure that we actually win. But stand for your fatherland. Most of our citizens sat idle these past few years, content to let the, uh, involuntary workers do the work. The Wehrmacht has become the only constant, always requiring more men to maintain the balance of our empire. It is vital that the people understand the importance of what we do, that they join us in opposing the rot that has corrupted the Reich. Goebbels may be long dead, but if lessons hold true, the people must be galvanized by propaganda. Let the posters and banners fly, it is better they make the choice to enlist on their own. It lets them think they still have a choice. Oh boy! Oh, uh, these guys are gonna die immediately. Yeah, look at that. There's not- there's literally nothing we can do. Um... Andalusian wants... I mean, like, this is really bad. This is really fucking bad. Um... I try to do it so- just so we're over there. I'll be honest, like... How close are we capitulating? Yeah, it's not good, man. And they have so many tanks as well that I, I'm going to have to pull some messy things here with the game is lagging really, really hard. But since it's lagging anyways, I, let's go through some, some comments. Um, someone says I should do a long Yoon campaign. I plan on doing it sometime. Not sure when. I heard that's very difficult and frustrating, so I don't want to do it. At least not yet. So eventually. Uh, someone actually asked me to show the Vatican City. Uh, here's Vatican City, the culture of Central Italian. They're right now led by Pope, or not Pope, well, I guess Pope, P Pope John the Twenty-Third. So if you wonder about him, please go ahead. And he's just kind of hanging out. He's got the Lateran Pax. He's got one Holy Catholic divided church, like normal. A good Pope. We got a severe black market trading in the Vatican City, and of course, the oil crisis. Someone asks, can we prevent the civil war? Yes, absolutely. Uh, as long as you take War Plan C and don't do the Wrangel, the Reichstag focus, um, like, like I had, literally had to use cons commands for that because we were doing pretty well. So, really, you, you don't, you won't have the civil war unless you really screw up. So, but we're just doing this to see what what type of content there is for this. Uh, so yeah, it's completely avoidable. And someone says, uh, Burgundy has also terrain. I didn't realize that. Actually, no, that no, right now they don't. Goring has it. Oh, okay, whatever. Someone recommends I do uh, a Martin Bowman campaign. Actually, I already have. Um, you can find it on my channel. I generally, try, whenever I do campaigns, I try to do as much as I possibly can. So, yeah, I've already done Borman, and someone asked me also to do Spidal. I'm not going to say that's the next episode after this, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. And 
Someone also recommends I do an RFK, Robert Francis Kennedy, to Harrington run, which I do need to play as Harrington, so, and, and, and uh, Robert Kennedy again. And someone also recommends I play the Cold War mod, not the Iron Curtain, Co or Cold War Iron Curtain mod, not that one, but a different Cold War mod, apparently, that there's, there's one out, so, I don't know, we'll check it out maybe eventually, but I'll see you in just a little bit when I, <clears throat> don't totally use Kant's commands to eliminate Goring's and Spido's armies, just to see what would happen. Alright, everyone, so I totally didn't use Kant's commands to delete enemy divisions, um, from killing us off, but, yeah, it is what it is, the structure of the German economy. For the second time in just a few years, the German Reich, once the strongest nation in the world, plus plunge in total civil war. And once again, German people have had begin, will have to suffer from shortages. And so do the different governments who started this nightmare across the whole Reich. Ever since the outbreak of the civil war, almost every production line and every factory was suspended. The illusion of our economy recovery based on the endless military operations was broken and without the lies what those factories were based on. Everything became become even worse in the situation during the first civil war. No materials, workers, or out outputs. In fact, barely anything is getting produced these days. What a healthy economy it is. But for now, there's nothing we can do about our economy. If they didn't betray the Reich and rekindle the fire out of civil war, none of this would have happened at all. And we should all, all we should do is to focus on all resources we can now to eliminate the enemies of Germany. Otherwise, the nation cannot be saved at all. Who should blame those traitors, not me? That looks pretty bad. Let's not touch that. All we can make are guns and anti-tank stuff. Yay! Let's go in, people. Go, 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 go. We have a very limited time span before the AI starts making more divisions and completely beats the crap out of us. But hey, whatever. Good Essen, go. You need to go now. Totally didn't delete enemy divisions. Totally didn't. Yeah, guys, come on in. Join the party. I wanted to get out Spidal Fest. And then, oh, good. Kill them off. Um, yeah, I'm having these guys take out Ukraine just because we, there's literally, literally nothing we can do for this. But, war in the factories. This is a total war. Goebbels understood the value of making the war felt by everybody. From the front lines, the fields, to the factories. We must ensure that our workers know the importance of their labor and redouble their efforts to produce arms for the fatherland. The factory floor will be reorganized into a home front with clear ranks established for every worker. With work squads will be directed at their tasks by floor sergeants. And every task will be timed down to the minute, ensuring when a mistake is made, it will not be made again. When we are done, the production line will be indistinguishable from the front line. Oh, we took out the slow box seat. Nice. Yay! We got more factories for anti tank. <laughs> Yay! We can do this stuff too. Also, I forgot about this stuff too. Yeah, let's boost it up. Might as well, right? Might as well. Also, we don't have another field marshal because we we literally know the commanders. So, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, they actually made some more divisions. Oh, they have some helicopter divisions. Wow. Go, guys, go! You can win. I swear you can. Go, go, go! Yeah, this is, a, this is a mess. We got plenty of guns now, but... I'd like to be able to research things that we actually need to research. Just saying. If you guys could help out, that'd be great. Go over here. Go to Cun. Cut these guys off if you can. That'd be lovely. Come on, take Essen, baby boys. Oh, we got Essen. Nice. Now all we need is Amsterdam. War in the factories. War in the fields. Out here in the fields you fight for your meals. All one can see for miles on end is the Reich. All one sees is the front line. Europe is consumed in warfare once more and it is essential that the soldiers understand that. If we not hold Ukraine, whose bread will feed their families back home? Danish pork and butter are staple at every table. Bohemian cards fill the streets of every city. Baltic farms are home to the cousin of every other man in the army. In the army. This army. If we do not win this war, we risk losing everything. The Reich has fought for the past century. We fight for what is ours. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. War in the mine. Those wars, perhaps the most important one we've ever fought. If the Reich cannot be halted in its fall, if Goring and Spider are allowed to continue to destroy it, then all is lost, and the Fuhrer's dream will be dead. Our troops must understand this. They must not falter in the mission. They must show no mercy, and they must never surrender. Thus far, they have been found lacking. The numerous number of rounds wasted on deserters is too high when they could be put to use against the enemy. We shall require troops to swear oaths of loyalty, and officers instructed to keep a closer eye on their men. And every man will keep an eye on his comrades, for there are traitors along every street corner. Do we get rid of somebody here? Oh, do we get rid of Goring? Oh, we did. Goring's fall. Goring's Germany is gone for good without him. His faction cannot stand as it did before. As time marches on, his generals naturally bickered about one with one another over who does what and who gets what, wherever they were. It seemed that the absence of Goring led to nothing but disorder. 
and just all to spread like disease all over the territories which they controlled. And just like the disease, their efforts were destructive, one by one. The Junos lost control of their holdings. Though they tried their best to assert themselves once more, they couldn't realize that this was their own fault. For all of their might and equipment and men, nothing weakened them so much more than corruption. The greed now left unchecked led to the wasting away of the great war machines and the shattering of the ranks. Without such instruments, nothing could be taken back, and just like Goring, they meant nothing to the men who shattered his country. Germany, once again, was divided. And just like that, another faction was bitten in the dust of the Second Civil War. What was once won? Was, was, what was won once was now lost. We are lost again, and a path does not seem to end. Amen. Oh, we're already at war with them, so it doesn't even really matter, so. Amsterdam, please. Amsterdam. Ah, Schneider flees. A great deal of effort was made to push harder, deeper into the territory, which was once the heroic Spider controlled. So much men sacrificed for this day, so much equipment has been used up as if they were resources. All in the name of victory that went into the hands of those who saw Spider flee in a plane which took him and his staff out of the heck which he had held the which held those left behind to delay them. Confirmed reports later transmitted that Shorn's command established that a Spider had found himself in this safer territory, serving the capacity of a general with his own government in exile. Unconfirmed reports spoke of his intentions to return in the name of beating back Shorn and his men, of course. No matter what happens, no matter who prevails, there can only be one thing left to do for both men, for they were both closed in immense power. Surrounded by capable officers, each with a vast army, to keep on fighting for the sake of Germany. And it seemed to Spider that if he must fight on from a land that is separate from his homeland, then he would do so without delay. Just as Shorna would if he were in his place, but this time he was not. And he would not think of it, for he would rather think of victory and later assuming rule assuming rule over the land of his people, and to see the execution of Germany's might. Germany will be questioned by none. Let's go in, boys, we're gonna go quick. We gotta be quick. But you all come up here if we possibly can. Totally didn't delete their divisions too up here. Totally didn't. I hope we do we actually get oh we actually took tanks away. Oh we actually have tanks now. Look at that. Because we took over their stuff, we actually got tanks. That is nice. That is very good. Turn off Goring's training wheels. Well, we're kind of okay for now. I like the training wheels. <clears throat> and then Volkstem. Army speed 12%, not much. And I prefer probably more soft attack or hard attack compared to that, but whatever. We'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Let's go, in, boys. We're doing a great job. Ooh, the second German Civil War. Oh, you get more speed, recruitable population factor, more attack. I like that. Economic collapse. It is what it is. Whatever. Don't let's don't question that. But the Volkstern. To achieve a great future, blood must be spilled. Just because one is not eligible for conscription into the Wehrmacht does not mean one cannot be of use to the country. The Volkstern shall serve as a home for those who old for the Wehrmacht, those too infirm to drill with a rifle, and those women who are called upon to serve the Reich in its great time of need. Though, their equipment may be lacking in quality, their training substandard, and their uniforms virtually non-existent. <clears throat> they will fill holes in the line just as well as any house soldat. It will serve as a useful means of disposal for critical of our ways of thinking. Six inexperienced infantry divisions. I'm glad we took out those guys. Totally didn't use Collins' commands. Totally didn't. Totally. Oh, we're going to, oh, we're going to war the... Oh, okay. I didn't realize... Well, commune time? Cool. Whatever. Don't rail like higher. Just... Just kill them all off. Oh. And the Balkans are dead? Yes! Portugal, huh? Oh, hello. Come back down here. Let's focus on the Balkans uh, and really just these guys first. We can deal with these guys a little, little later, maybe? Or just walk straight to there, maybe? War in the mind, my friends. Hunger pangs in the fatherland. It's not something to think about. You don't even acknowledge, especially after so many German bells stayed empty in the last war, but here we are. We're really bellies. Germans throughout all the Reich are going hungry, and that's only in a hot land. Throughout all of our possessions, with a few exceptions, our people are going hungry. Thousands upon thousands of the Reich's commissariats have already starved, and projections look grim for those stuck in far-flung possessions. At home, seemingly draconian rationing procedures have been implemented to sewage the worst of our hunger pangs, but may very well know, very may well not be enough. If the civil war lasts as long as the last one, we may have a terrible crisis on our hands, and millions could potentially perish. We've got a real mess on our hands, my friends. We've got a real mess. But all traders shall bleed. Our efforts have been proven successful so far. With the flow of fresh recruits to the front line broadening into a torrent, there will always be elements of cowardice that must be rooted out, however. The common soldier must be taught the value of discipline and diligence. Anyone attempting to undermine the war effort, by words or by actions, is a traitor and will be treated as such. The like as a mean machine of flesh and metal. And when a car gets stuck or a spring breaks, you replace it. We have neither the time nor inclination to waste our efforts with trials or prisons. Just shoot them. Just shoot them. These guys are doing great. I can't believe we actually have tanks. We actually literally have tanks and IVs. Thank you, Goring Ishpadal. Thank you, once again. Of course, we have no fuel, but hey, don't question me. Oh, good. Oh, well, actually, that's not good. Oh, actually, that's good. Yeah, Clan Azim. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Uh, let's import some stuff. Kuwait? Oh, we love Kuwait here. Kuwait, we're, we're like best buddies, right? Ah, more of a cheese. Yay! 
Huzzah! Followed up with, all traders shall bleed. And maybe we can grab a new general. A field marshal. Bob Walker. That would be Vira Vira. Vira German. Vira Vira German. Oh my goodness, not even enough command power. Alright, whatever. Oh, those without. Yes. We had hoped that Goring would prove a willing ally to Shiram. While he may be banned in Gao, she is a military man, sadly. It was not meant to be. His leadership limp wristed. His monetary management ham fisted. And his policies ill thought. He has proven truculent tru uh, in our attempts to steer him, and he has now bucked the reins and risked bringing the Reich we have fought so hard for crashing into a ditch. He must die, and those who have followed him into the life will follow him to the firing line, ending that glory hound Spidel will merely be the cherry on the top of the cake. From the battlefields of the Angelsk Astrakhan line to the balconies of the Bagoff, he has followed us, always casting his shadow. He has hindered us for too long. And it will be a pleasure to see him swinging from a rope. If we can find him, of course. You never know, he might be just hiding like a degenerate he is. Those without, of course, though. So. Uh, we're doing quite well, I'm not really too worried about this. And then those within. Examples have been made, and we have been patient enough. Soldiers linger away from their duties, eager to spend as much time away from the front as possible. They make excuses, hide in their barracks, spend time on frivolities like lunch breaks no longer. Spare time is wasted time, and wasted time is dereliction of duty. The newly issued uh, Richtlinien for the Behandlung der Zweiterschaudende. Uh, Zeit Verschwander will crack down on these time wasters. Any soldier found away from the front lines without written orders from a superior officer will be hanged. Any officer who fails to carry out these orders will be shot. One more fitting punishment for those who refuse to defend the German women and children. Hello. Did you just come back from the dead? Ah, it's right there. Klein Azin. Uh, let's go back up here then. Hello, who the heck are you? Agadia? Uh, Lysenko. Louv. I said. I thought that said Love Boy. Love Boy Lysenko. I mean, my mind is in. My mind is not here right now. Apparently, apologies. Love Boy. Love Boy. Or are you a Love Boy? Actually, some of you guys will probably say yes. Anyways, those within. So what can we do here now? Actually, a lost cause. Um, I don't think I want to do this one. We're doing pretty well, so it's become untenable. Yeah, I don't want to do this one, so. Exhaust the workers. Not bad. We're getting more stuff. Dispose of the useless. Yes. And bun Hessian. I would like to do that, but we'll probably do no retreat. The front is too vital to fall without a fight. No matter how many men and men they may throw at us. No matter how many bodies we must expend, we will bleed for every second we must buy for our forces across the Reich to muster against the enemy. There will be not one step back for our men. Not unless they reach the very walls of Hessian. Of course, the Reichs. Marshal and a staff are two vats lead to the enemy. They will evacuate when the time is right. More uh, army attack and defense? Yes. And those within. No retreat. No retreat. Not one step back. Don't worry about the famine, though. Don't worry about it. It's just a casual famine. Short on the chain of command. Even are we willing to admit the Wehrmacht has become somewhat bloated since his glory days in the 40s? Our ranks are filled with umpjumped. Uh, inexperienced officers who scarcely remember the Second World War, let alone the First. They are merely a hindrance and a help. What else can they be commanding men in combat if they've never seen the front lines? What should we do them? We shall do them a favor. Answer it in the chain of command. Those without experience will be demoted to NCO ranks. Those that complain will find themselves no different to the soldats than they once commanded. Perhaps if they survive, they can work their way back up the ranks. Absolutely. Hey, at least we got artillery now. Yeah, that's a positive thing, man. We actually have some, like, 19th century artillery. Finally. I guess we're doing well here or something? What's going on? Guys, expand the line. There you go. You can't even force the attack. What the heck? Like, I get her guys are somewhat tired, but still. Bro. Bro. Short on the chain of command, my friends. Thank you very much. Follow it up with... Slaves on the front lines. Oh. Very cool. Slaves are one of the few things we have in abundance. They may be lazy and insubordinate. They work shoddy and substandard, but they provide the majority of the Reich's labor. They are many and individually quite worthless. It would uh, be a mistake not to utilize them in our hour of need. Their blood is inferior, but they will take a bullet just as well as any Aryan. Promise them freedom, food, or a day off. We have no obligation to follow through. March them at gunpoint and send them at the enemy barricades. Every one that dies is a German life saved, and maybe after the war there won't be so many of them to worry about. Oh, Red Africa's here. Four light infantry divisions. Nice. Very good. So good. Yes, yes. Did we win? Oh, Ankara. And this, these bunch of suckers down here. They want to take us out, eh? Not today. And Scandinavia should be dying too, so that's good. Ah, 
Ah, so good. Are we actually mobilizing more? We are. I like that. One year draft. Good. Slaves on the front line. I don't know. Whatever. And then, nowhere left to run. A corner dog is the most dangerous kind. Every man, woman, and child here knows their duty to defend this land to their dying breath. And with all avenues of escape cut off, even the most desperate coward must stand to fight. When men are ordered to march, we expect them to march. When they are ordered to kill, we expect them that they kill. And when they are ordered to die, we expect them to die. Any less is treason. 100%. And unfortunately, we have no navy. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 100% sure we have no navy. Oh, uh, goodbye. Thank you. Navy? Nope. Who are we fighting here, actually? Oh, and you guys get down here, too. These 48 divisions, they're really not bad, but I don't think we really need to see all this stuff. There's just so much there, man. Nowhere left to run. Now go out. You should be able to run now that we've actually given you time to, like, reassess yourself, so. Force the attack, force the attack. We'll see what happens. I can't imagine... I mean, the Turks probably have some, like, secret hidden modifiers to make them really strong and such, but whatever. I don't really care. Yeah, they definitely have some hidden modifiers here. Shorana, you said you could win. That was proven to be a lie. Seriously. Okay, so militia division. Like I said this in the last episode, that's not a militia division. The game literally lies to you in, in here. Like, I don't understand why it lies so hard. Never left to run. Um, frankly, I don't, I, I really don't like this, the Civil War. I really don't, so. <clears throat> but we're doing it because we can. Other tanks down here, go. Just kill them all off, please. With the tanks, you should be able to win. This is ridiculous and stupid. I know it's over, I guess it's over River too, huh? Get your butts in here. G get, get in here, go. Come on, you literally have no time to, to waste. Go, go, go. Cut these guys off. I'm. We're going to run it, just run into them until either they die. They're doing force defense. Are they just seriously doing force defense? They're seriously doing force defense. I'm not I'm not giving up the attacks. I'm sorry. There's no way I'm going to give up these attacks. So look at all that. Economic stagnation. We can grip. I mean, we're using crap stuff too, so I'm... Yeah. More attacking defense. Yeah, I kind of doubt it's... I'm sure they got more than that, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I did earlier, because... This is so stupid. Look at all the stuff I got over here. What is this? Tag? Turk? I'm sorry, but I've got to do it like this. There's hidden stuff or something like... This is really... Actually, you know what? What technology do they have? They have crap weapons too, so I don't understand how they're actually able to beat us up. So, goodbye. Goodbye. I, I just wish this was a little more fleshed out. I'd be honest here. RNW, TD bug. You can see everything I've done off screen right there, so... That's really all I've done. Oops. And press enter. But yeah, that's, that's just really stupid. I mean, just... We're literally using the same equipment, and sure, our guys are not that great, but their guys aren't great either, so, bruh, why did you delete all of our technology? I'm not going to waste time with that, so, my apologies, but this is, this is kind of stupid, when you delete all the technology. Like, we even saw Turkish tank divisions, like, it doesn't make any sense for why they would have tank divisions. Especially after we took them over. Then again, we took them over. Which makes some sense, but not really. You know, it is what it is. Alright, so who else are we at war with? Because I don't want to be at war with anybody else now. Um, who is this? Just, who the heck is this? Is this client Asian? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to just manually have to eat them probably or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go over here. I can't imagine these guys have a navy either, so... Head on over there, guys. Go ahead. Hold and go. Hold and go. Well, these motorized and oh my god, I don't you hate it when you tell your guys to go and you actually did set up a you know a military line to go and they just don't go. Like I don't understand it. I'm more than certain I set up a line here. Well, I'm glad we don't have to deal with that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. These guys are actually doing really well. Like I'm. Kind of surprised they're doing this well, but we'll see. Who is this? Are we already at war with them? Yeah, we already are, so what the heck? Why did they... Uh... How are we supposed to...
Well, if the game forces us to do that, no, there's not much I can really do then. Head on up here, guys. Head on up here. On up here. You guys go, please. Let's go. Let's go. Lisbon will be ours. Yeah, seriously. All right, so you you have two divisions attacking. Why are you not attacking? I don't understand. Third autonomous unit, Portugal. Hmm. I mean, they get engineers. Oh, I guess we have engineers too, but they get anti tank. Yeah, it's very similar to us, I guess. I suppose they have only one division, so it looks like it could be forty combo as well. So I don't know. I'm just I just don't like it. Who the? Hello? We're in some sort of war. Um, these guys too, I guess, huh? Uh, all right. What the heck? Wait, what happened over here? Why do these guys exist? Well, yep, I guess we're going this way too. Yeah, this is just hmm, just a hmm moment for me. Hmm. No, oh, we have seventy-seven hundred tanks. That's not bad. Hey, and you know what? We have no GP growth, but we have no debt, so... Let's go, guys. Let's go. And you're gonna lose. You're just gonna lose the attacks. I don't like this. I definitely do not like this. It makes literally no sense. All these guys are attacking. And you still can't win? There's... Do they have air superiority? I mean, that would explain it, but no. No one has air. No one has air equipment. I mean, it should be basically just an, almost an instant win with the amount of guys that we have here stacked up. So... Ah! That's been a bit... This is probably... Like I, was, I think it's in the last episode too. One of the longest campaigns I've ever had in TNO, so. Please just kill them. Please just end their existence. Wow, look at that. Ah, uh, it's nice and all, but nah, we're okay. We'll be okay. Right? We should be okay, right? You need more steel. Yeah, these guys don't even have a name. Owner. Well, Adolf Hoistinger. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, where's the capital? Uh, oh, Marseille. God, I hate militia divisions. They're only good for resistance stuff, man. It doesn't matter to the mod. It could be TNO, it could be Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Reich. I hate militias, man. They kind of have a purpose, but just use infantry. I guess for more role playing aspects. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so do we get anything here? Are we still at war? No, we're not. So this is. What Shona's Germany would look like. Shona triumphant. Throughout the history of mankind has been the strong man's curse to be burdened by the weak. For far too long, the incessant whisperings of Craven sought to topple the right from within, from the cringing little spider to the corpulent gold ring now. As the dust settles upon a new Europe, fear Shona can proclaim the triumph of strength over weakness. Spiders bellow yellow, uh, be uh, belly yellow from cowardice and great face green with envy. Desire to strip the nation from all its grandeur and pursuit of pseudo-Bolshevik reform, goring that fat puppet draped in capes and garnet rings like a Weimar whore, sought to feebly con seize control of his own strings. <clears throat> Such cowards have been wreathing on every step of the way to glory, on the stairway to glory, clawing and grasping at Shona and his men like children, and at long last the sweetness of true victory can be tasted in the air smoked, air like smoke on the battlefield. The continent has been carved up to serve the right, from the north of Scandinavia to the north of Africa, from the west of Europe to the west of Russia, a beautiful new future has been secured for the younger generations. As long as there are partisan scum infesting the Reich's territories, there is ample opportunity to send Aryan boys on the grand path to manhood with a uniform and rifle. The days of treason are finally over. True, there will be a few vestiges of filth clinging to the boot of Germany, but due diligence would soon see these traitor sacks of meat stuffed into a truck, handed a rifle, and cut it off to the frozen wastelands of the Russian frontier. For now, it is time to rejoice. Heil Shona! And I apologize for a little bit of a rant and frustration earlier from what this was. But it is what it is. We created our own faction again called the Einheits Pact. Beautiful. Ah. Un Andalusine. Cool. And that'll be it for this one. Not as long as the last one, which is fine with me, but Shona's here. Papa Shona, and we finish up everything here, so not bad. Um, if you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Bing, bing, bong. Bonga ding. And jing a bong. Uh, cool. Not bad. Interesting to see what this is all about. And obviously we need cons commands because it's not really here yet. And here's the faction map mode. Ionized Pact. We really got to eliminate these guys here. Hmm. But hey, Britannia's still here. But we still got to try out, maybe, Spado's Path. But if you enjoyed the video somehow, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Rub your cat for me if you have a cat. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow in what will probably be another epilogue episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.